Hello everyone, welcome to Young Fang's virtual showroom and thank you for joining us today at this very special, highly exclusive virtual unveiling of the all new Smart Cabin Demonstrator XIM21. For those of you who don't know, XIM stands for Experience in Motion. This year's team is Smarter Mobility Together and what that means we will find out in just a few minutes. My name is Anna Gimbrera, I am a science journalist from the Netherlands and today I will be your virtual guide through this event and introduce to you today's speakers. Now I can tell you that I'm personally excited to find out what the new model looks like and try out all of its features. As a science journalist it's part of my job to always be on top of the newest scientific possibilities. But to actually interact with the future and sit in it, that's not something I do on a daily basis. So I'm looking forward to showing you this year's model and touching all of its buttons. If of course it has buttons, I can't tell you just yet. I hope you agree with me that one of the biggest trends in 2020 was meeting each other in virtual meeting rooms and making virtual presentations. Now since Jan Feng is always on top of the trends, they designed this virtual showroom for us. I hope you like it. What I personally like is that when I start talking about Jan Feng, it will make some charge pop up, just like that. Most of you already know Jan Feng and some of you may have worked with the company before. But what many of you may not know is that it has a very long history. It was founded in 1936 in Shanghai and it joined the automotive industry in 1942. Smart move because they now have more than 55,000 employees in 240 locations worldwide. One of these employees is today's first speaker, Gerald. Gerald is the chief executive officer of Yanfeng and he is responsible for the company's vision and leadership. He has been working for Yanfeng for more than 20 years. He's based in the headquarters in Shanghai, but he's here with us today virtually. So give it up for Gerald. Thank you, Anna, and welcome from my side to our Experience in Motion 2020 When Europe Debut. We are operating at a different time. I'm delighted you are able to join us from wherever you're located across different continentals and we unviewed x 21 for the first time virtually. Innovation actually is in our DNA. It's in our name, Yen Feng. Yen Feng means heritage, develop, and Feng means advance. We are centralized developing team to be an integrate R&D solutions to constantly push for more speed and synergies. And our complete portfolio and the full capability on both components level and the system levels unique position us as a supply for complete interior as well as safety systems. This means we are your one stop for seating, interior, electronics and safety, which make us a unique industry and enable us new innovative parts solutions. Our transformation empowers us to driving the revolution in the automotive industry to develop near term product ready integrate innovation and reimagine the driving experience for automotive driving, connectivities, e-mobilities, and a shared mobility for the futures. Yenfeng has transformed to accelerate collaborations, innovations, and globalizations with our team, with technology, with our customers, with Yenfeng, to driving both evolutions and the revolutions to the automotive industry together. We call this smart mobility together. Thank you. Now that we know what Smarter Mobility Together stands for, I think you would like to know what that means to the product. And our next speaker knows all about the product. His name is Han Hendricks. He has been working for the company also for more than 20 years and he is now the Chief Technology Officer. That means he is responsible for the company's technology vision and strategy and the execution of innovation projects, including the Smart Cabin. He is actually here with us in person, so give it up for Han Hendricks. So welcome, Han. First of all, do you agree with Gerald? Yes, I very much agree with Gerald, Anna. I think uh, the way he talks about our vision is very exciting and inspiring. And uh, also for me personally, I can very much relate to our vision and our strategies. So how does that strategy relate to the Smarter Mobility Together? Yeah, so there is a really logical connection to our vision, our strategies and Smarter Mobility Together. First of all, important in our strategy is that our five businesses increasingly work together. So they're not only developing their own products, but we're also building on the synergies. If you integrate electronics with uh, interior surfaces or if you integrate our safety systems with our seats. So very important in our product development philosophy is that we start with the end consumer and work our way back to technology. So do you base your new products and your new designs on the feedback that you received on previous? 
Yes, that's been very important. So last year we presented the predecessor of the car that we're going to see in a minute. It was called XIM20 and uh, we had a great show. At that point we could still invite our customers to come and see us and uh, we got a lot of feedback. So XIM20 was more visionary. It was more a long-term statement of where Jan Feng thinks the future of interior will go. So we got great feedback from our customers, but they also said which technologies can we already put in our next generation vehicles? Cars that will be on the road in two year, years from now. Yeah. And what is that? Okay, so, so one of the things we really prioritized is smart interior surfaces. So this is seamless integration of HMI technologies, switches and displays in our interior surfaces. So they don't only look good and feel good, but they're also smart. You can interact with them. So is that something that you took from your previous products and that you implemented in this year's? Yes. Smart so cabinet. so where we showed the vision last year, here we show these type of solutions production ready. Okay, so I think we've talked enough about the whole new smart cabin. I think it should be time to show it. Great. Okay, Han, show us the car. Hannah, here it is. Well, that's a cool trick about virtual reality. Did you hide anything else here? No, it's all about the car today. <laughs> I have to say, it's a really beautiful car, but it's also a little regular. At first sight, maybe. But when we approach the car, the first new feature becomes visible. So what does it do? So let me show you why this is a special car. First of all, I take out my mobile phone and depending on the type of ride that we're going to take, I can already uh, activate some personal settings to optimize the in-car experience tailored to the ride we're going to take. So we're not taking any children with us, mm -hmm. so I deactivate the child safety seat. More space for us. More space for us. Temperature, 19 degrees. Sounds good. What type of fragrance would you like in the interior? Ooh, um how about freshly cut grass? We, we don't have that yet. Okay. Um, but we have other options. What do you like? So I like the uh, energizing one. Sounds good. Okay, let's take the car for a ride. Oh, wow. What's up with the lights? So that's actually the first new feature. It's a light through body panel technology. And it's actually a welcome scenario where you approach the car. That's so nice of the car. Yes, it I is. I feel really welcome. All right. Let's start the car. Ah, more lights. What's happening? So what's happening is, you remember that I have entered my pre-settings in the app. So mm -hmm. the car knows now exactly who is behind the wheel because of the facial recognition in the dashboard. So it continues adapting the vehicle interior exactly how I want it to be. And what it also does is it adjusts the safety equipment, the safety systems in the vehicle, uh, in the app. I had to set my body weight and length and it optimizes the safety systems for my body so it actually makes the car safer for me. Wow, so if I would enter my pre-settings, the car would recognize my face as well and it gives me a different pull in my Exactly, chair. exactly. All the safety systems in the vehicle would adapt to your person. Where do we want to go? Oh, uh, how about a restaurant? Okay, that's fine. You choose the restaurant. I'm driving already, so you can do the navigation. Oh, that sounds good. <laughs> Let's go to ah, restaurants. We have a special tab for that. Right. Newman's Bar. 
you probably can watch it from here. Oh, share, sharing navigation. Exactly. So I need it where I'm looking, right? I want to keep my eyes on the road, want to have the navigation screen near to me so you can actually swipe the content that you just entered to my screen on this side. So I was not distracted. As a co-driver, you can do the programming and uh, I can keep my eyes on the road. That is very cool. So you can now relax. I can now relax. Else. Well, but now let's say I would like to move my chairs. I don't see any buttons, so how do I do that? Right. What we did is we actually seamlessly integrated these buttons with our surfaces. An example is on your seat um, in the armrest. If you want to adjust your seat, press the on button for a second and the menu appears. Here you oh, go. Oh, that's so pretty. Right. Okay, so I can go to Forward, the front. Yeah. Oh, that is so cool. Oh, that's nice. Did you hide any more buttons from me? Yeah, we actually have these smart switches throughout the interior on both soft surfaces and hard surfaces, as you can see here. Oh, wow. Can I? Yeah. Air conditioning. You even feel it when you touch it. Yeah, exactly. Oh. It's important because with these smooth surfaces, you, you're not guided with a mechanical switch. So you really need that haptic feedback to get confirmation that you actually press the button. Wow. And I see buttons in the steering wheel as well. Right, it's a smart steering wheel as we call it. So it has these smart functions, but also hands-on, hand-off detection. Think about level three, level four autonomous. There is this transition from autonomous drive where the driver has to take over. Yeah. And there is a warning sign because I, if I take my hands off the wheel, after a few seconds, it oh. warns me that I have to put my hands back on the wheel, the safety systems react, and, um, and now we're back into a normal position. It even pulls on the safety belt. Ex exactly, it's all up. integrated. It's right. like, oh, he's gonna, he's gonna bump into something. Yes. So Han, you have children, right? Right. What I hear from people, from my friends who have children, they say sometimes they have to pick a child up. They're driving around with friends and they don't have the right chair in the back. But it's actually mandatory to have a children's chair in the back. In the yes. Back. Do you recognize that problem? Yeah, it's a very common problem. So what we've actually created is an integrated child safety seat. It's there when you need it, but it's not there when you don't need it. Like many of the functions in this interior, they're there when you need it, but it's disappearing when you don't need it. So you mean there's chairs hiding in the back? Exactly. So let's say we have the children in the back, right? in the perfect chair, um, but we all know that children are very high maintenance. How do we entertain them? Yeah, so especially long rides. My children love to watch a, mu a movie or play a game, something like that. So you want to control the content a little bit. Yeah, you want them to watch appropriate stuff. The good thing about our system here is that, by the way, the, the, the car has five screens. Two in the front for the driver, you have one, and two in the back. So can, they can actually watch their movies. And we can go to the movie menu, pick the movie, ah. and... What we can do now is uh, you can actually select which screen can watch what content. Oh. So, for example... I want to watch Star Wars. You're going to watch Star Wars now. And now actually you can determine... Oh, really? ...what content our children should be looking at. So I can put share. Yes. I can say my left child is old enough. Yep. My right child, nah, not so much. It's sleeping. It's sleeping. Yep. So only the child in the left. And now we're watching Star Wars together. Yes. You should watch a movie because you're driving. <laughs> so what's also important is if imagine if it's going to be too quiet in the back, you want to know what's going on. Yes. You don't have to turn around to see what they're doing, but you can actually use a camera in the back and that screen to watch your children in the back to understand what they're doing. Baby monitor. I'm watching the back. Exactly. Here they are. Oh, look at them. Are you okay there in the front? Perfect, Anna. Are you okay in the back? I'm totally fine. I feel like relaxing. Very good. So this is our zero gravity seat. And what you might want to do is go into this relax position. You mm -hmm. only have to push one switch in the smart surface. Yeah. Exactly. Turn it on. Now, that's the massage function. Ooh. You can start with that too if you I'll want. I'll start with the massage. Right. Oh, that's nice. That's very nice. And then you can go into this zero gravity position. It's a deep recline. You have to push the button below the map, exactly that one. And then you can let go. Everything happens automatically. The rear seat moves out of the way. Ooh. And the seat goes into a very relaxing position. So you have the massage, you have a very relaxing position. So we want to create a very nice ambiance as well. 
um, turn on a little music. Nice! Adjust the uh, fragrance of your preference. And, uh, and we can also make the light pulse with the music to, to really get you into a full state of relaxation. Well, you drive me anywhere. I'm just, fine here. <laughs> just tell me where you want to go and I'll make sure I'll take you there. Okay, Anna, remember at the beginning you said that when we were setting the, uh, the presets for our vehicle ride, um, we don't need the child seat for this ride and you said that leaves more space for us. Exactly. And this is exactly this position. So imagine we're two colleagues, we're almost um, at our meeting where we have to be and we need to do some final preparations to our presentations. This is the setting that we would create in the interior. This is enough space even for my big feet. Very good. You have a lot of space. I have a lot of space. So you can even create a more effective workspace for us. If you bring over this uh, smart companion, our, our floor console, and turn on the uh, smart surface and the armrest, yes. And here it comes. Well, hello. So it's, this is really a multifunctional floor console. Lots of features, lots of functions. Storage is very important in the back. There are cool drinks, hot drinks. I can charge my phone if I want to. Color changes when it starts uh, charging. And uh, you even have a table function. So just push the small switch. And Over here? Yes. And the table pops out. Well, this thing is full of surprises. So again. What you have to do is this. And if you'd want to do some work, you move the seat a little bit forward. But for what we're going to do, this is perfect. We can both look at the presentation. I can show you my holiday pictures. Sounds great. Or I can show you my presentation about a car with a zero gravity seat. That's even better. Let me show you. Well, I think we'll come there completely prepared. Very good. Okay, Han, I think I actually found all your hidden buttons. I think so. Most I, of them. I touched all the smart services. Right. I think I got a good impression. Very good. So I say let's go out and wrap it up. Well, this was a great experience and I have to say you have some really nice features in there. But what do you think is the most important innovation? To be honest, I think the most interesting innovation we haven't seen yet. And as you say, there are a lot of innovations in the vehicle. But what now really becomes important to create an intuitive and meaningful in-car experience is the choreography of all the digital and physical features in the, in the car. So everything has to happen at the right time. So for that purpose, we've developed our own domain control unit, our smart cabin controller, and, and that really drives all the features and functions in the interior, that everything happens at the right time. Could you say that it's like the central brain of the interior? Perfect, it's the central brain of the interior. Okay, so I do think it's the most impressive when you're actually in the car, but I hope that the people at home will have gotten a good impression. What do you think? So I really hope so. And, and again, the people at home are really important for us because for our innovation process, we start with the end user and we work our way back to technology. So we would really appreciate if you can leave your feedback. Yeah, and you can actually leave that feedback just down in the comments here below. And if it's useful feedback, they might actually pick it out and use it for the next model, XIM22. How about that? Great idea. That would be cool. Thank you very much for joining us today and have a good one.